and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. More and more people were baptised and joined in the fellowship of the church. They met every day and broke bread together in their homes and shared simple joys, constantly praying to God. As we hear that story of the Holy Spirit coming to God's people, we'll shortly hear the Gospel where we hear how Jesus promises that Spirit and what that Spirit is like. But let us first sing and rejoice and learn about the Spirit.
Not me. He's hiding. He really doesn't want people to know that he is linked to Jesus. And yet we heard in that reading, didn't we, that he stands up in front of all Jerusalem as complete personality change. It's a bit like you've seen the princess star wars. Showing out any you know, good some young people. But you know, Anna plays as it's in my head. She says no to school girl and she comes as a face of princess. Or I hope we know Superman. What's Superman's other name? The man. So yes, he's that amazing strong character. But what's his name job when no one recognises him? Yes, he, he works. He works for a newspaper, doesn't he? And it seems to be a thing. It seems to put a glass at someone they can notice something. What's the name? Clark Kent. That's right. Yes. So it's kind of a bit like that. Peter is like the schoolgirl or Clark Kent. He is kind of before Jesus is killed, he's like, nobody's going to notice me. I'm not important. I'm not interested. And then after Jesus has risen and Peter has experienced that Jesus really was the Son of God, and once the Holy Spirit comes into his life, it's just like something like my daughter is usually saying how embarrassing I am. <laughs> Just like Superman, Peter is transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And you know what's interesting is it's not anything that Peter does that makes that happen. It's the Holy Spirit who empowers him. It's like a light has been set on fire inside of him. Because the thing is, with faith, with belief, it's not actually about our willing it. I've got an example for you. Now, I have to admit I was never on the beta. Here's something I need earlier. <laughs> Thank you. 
the one who lived and died and rose again and ascended into heaven. And is there interceding for the Father on our behalf. That's what we say in our creeds. That's what we pray in our Eucharistic prayer. The Spirit gives us, just like it gave Peter, that amazing trust. But it's amazing, not because we will it up all of our own kind of efforts, but because the one whom we trust is so utterly reliable, so utterly constant, so utterly true, so utterly the completeness of all true love. Like we've heard in our wonderful reading from the children, Jesus says the Spirit will help you to understand true righteousness. The true relationship of God and justice and sin and mercy. The Spirit helps us to do that. But the Spirit does that by helping us to put our trust in Jesus. That eternal love. And that is the amazing gift that the church has. Today is in fact the church's birthday. Because today is the day that the church can really be true trusting by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus. <coughs> and Jesus is a solid that is here with it, and not is not more. And so today is a day of real hope and inspiration. That's why we pray. Holy Spirit, because that image of fire helps us to understand how the Spirit works in our lives. Some of you may have got a home gas cookers, or you may have seen them, or they may be candle or gas fire. You know the flame can be small, but it can also be turned right up and warm and the fire away. And that's what God wants to do in our heart. He longs for all of us to experience that flame of the Holy Spirit. Turned up. Full gas mark 9, 10, 100, 99 million. That's what God longs for. And think about what an impact that would have on the world if we dare to let God turn the Holy Spirit off within us. So let's trust in Jesus. Utterly reliable one and dare to let his Holy Spirit anoint us, empower us to the fullest degree.
Lord God of love, we pray for Ross and Hester. Be with them in all their preparations and on their wedding day. Give them royal in their hearts throughout their married life together. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. The notices are, are tonight we have <coughs> talk, think, pray. Did I get that in my order? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say think, talk, pray. You talk, then you think, then you pray. Um, which is focusing on prayer. Mm -hmm. right. So let's pray for the Holy Spirit to come and inspire our conversation. Then we have our Pentecost praise party next Sunday. So that's the 26th. So don't have this afternoon. Because we won't be here, um, but we will be next week, and there'll be lots of fun to be had there. Mm -hmm. And we have more. Good morning. Um, everybody should have been given one of these this morning, and it's not something for the recycling bin. Uh, it very clearly tells you when the summer phase is, and it's galloping along very quickly. You will notice at the back of the church that all the uh, boxes are out to receive your gifts. Um, I would just point out that the list on the back mentions two things that we don't want you to put into the box straight away. Obviously plants. I'm not coming down here to water hundreds of plants. So please hold on to those until the Friday evening and then bring them in or even Thursday if you push, but preferably Friday. And the same applies to cakes. Um, don't bring your cakes just yet in the bin or I have to eat them and that would be not good for me. So please take it home, read it very carefully on the back, put aside the gifts that you're going to bring and give, and then put this in the window to your car and it becomes an advert as well. There are also some laminated posters on the bench as you go out. Please, if you can display one of those, please take it. And with the second hat on, very quickly to say that uh, Sandra and Alice are selling tickets for the barbecue today. Get in quick, they're actually going quicker than I thought they would. So uh, please book your tickets, friends and family, it promises to be a really good day. Thank you.
wonderful. Let's have a blessing from God. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God, and of the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God 